Yo! 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 What's up mga Tomodachi? Welcome back to my channel! It's me again, Ron Jacob! Huwag na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa! In today's video, I'm going to discuss and talk about what are the don'ts or yung mga hindi dapat gawin dito sa Japan. So yun na nga guys, let's talk about something I myself been asking when I relocated here in Japan. Ito rin yung mga bagay na hindi rin katanggap-tanggap sa kultura nila o sa kanilang kinagawi ang kultura. Let's talk about them one by one at alamin natin kung bakit at ano ang mga rason at hindi dapat natin gawin ang mga bagay na ipapakita ko sa video na ito. Sa ganong paraan, maging guided tayo at hindi maiwasan din natin gawin ang mga bagay na yan kapag ka namasyal kayo dito sa Japan or kung may bala kayo na magtrabaho or manirahan dito sa Land of the Rising Sun, 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 Sun. <laughs> So guys, let's jump into them and let's start. That's number one, guys. So this is one of the most important things that we need to remember if you want to go and visit Japan. One of the main reasons kung bakit nila ginagawa to is because, number one, naging parte na siya ng kanilang kultura. It has been part of their culture. Number two, they believe that cleanliness is also a virtue. Kaya kung mapapansin natin guys, Japan is one of the cleanest country in the world. At idagdag ko lang guys ha, mapapansin nyo kapag narito kayo sa Japan na every time na papasok kayo sa bahay sa, uh, or sa apartment, sa opisina or sa school or even sa restaurant, kailangan talaga nating alisin or tanggalin yung ginamit natin sa pinsa pa ha, o yung tinatawag nating outdoor shoes. Kung papasok kayo dun sa isa sa mga nabanggit ko kanina. Kasi kung hindi nyo gagawin yon it would be very rude para sa mga Japanese people. Kaya, just be mindful about it. Kung pupunta kayo rito or bibisita kayo rito, kailangan nyo pakatandaan yan. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay guys, here in Japan, they value Privacy. Isa sa mga mahalagang bagay ang privacy dito sa Japan. They also value peacefulness, mindfulness, or consideration to others. At uh, kung ano-ano pang may mga linis-linis na yan. <laughs> Just kidding. At ayun nga, nakita nyo kanina sa video na it's a big no kung gagamit kayo ng phone in public transports. Especially sa trains, buses, and other public it is very rude na makipaghuntahan ka or makipagkwentuhan ka. Please, never ever use phones in public transport. I would say na hindi naman talaga siya pinagbabawal or wala naman talaga siyang rule or any um, law, policy dito na ini-impose. But the thing is, Japanese people are very considerate to others. Kaya ganun din dapat ang mga foreigners kagaya natin. So just be careful. Kasi it's either na um, you will receive a disapproval look sa mga kasabay mo or kasama mo sa, sa public transport na sinasakyan mo. It's very rude. Especially kapag malakas yung boses mo. Kasi ang mga Japanese guys, parati nilang iniisip na makakaabala ba ito? Or would it cause some disturbance or distractions among uh, other people with me? Or makakapag-cause kaya ito ng inconvenience? So yung mga ganun bagay, yun yung mindsetting ng mga Japanese people. At yun nga, makapansin nyo na super tahimik talaga ng mga public transport dito. Kung magkwentuhan man kayo with your friends or with somebody with you, beside you, or with your uh, company. So just make sure na parang nagwi-whisper lang kayo sa isa't isa. Kasi um, it's either makakatanggap kayo ng disapproval look or kayo mismo yung mahihiya. Kasi yung paligid nyo super tahimik tapos kayo maingay. Ganun. Let's go to the next one. Ayun, yung video na yan ay isa sa mga bagay na guilty ako. Kasi sometimes kapag gutom na gutom talaga ako, I would rather go to a convenience store and uh, buy something. But it's a big no here. It's also rude. 
kapag kakakain kayo or iinom kayo sa mga pangpublikong lugar. Lalo tigit kapag naglalakad kayo or you are doing something else. Kaya dito sa Japan, just be very careful. Um, iwasan, iwasan natin na kumain or uminom kapag naglalakad ka, huwag na huwag niyong gagawin yan. Okay? Japanese manners also place a great emphasis sa sinasabi nilang Ikai Ichi Dosa which literally means one thing at a time. So you can never do two or three things at the same time. So eating while walking or while moving is very impolite here in Japan. Also some of the sacred places like shrines, temples, and other public places, eating and drinking is considered to show bad manners or you're lacking of common sense. Okay, yeah, be careful. Okay, let's go to the next one. So no crossing on a red light. Here in Japan, they have a very strict traffic rules and regulations. Or makikita natin, or makapansin natin na Japan has a very minimal rate of accidents or street accidents. Kasi masyadong disiplinado ang mga Japanese dito. Masyadong disiplinado ang mga drivers and vehicle owners dito sa Japan. At isa rin nga sa mga bagay na dapat nating tandaan, especially kapag bibisita kayo dito sa Japan, is wag na wag kayong tatawid or never ever try to cross on a red traffic light. It's either mahuli kayo or mabigyan kayo ng disciplinary action kapag may nakahuli sa inyo. But of course, since nagpa nga sa Japan, you just have to abide the rules and regulations of traffic. Just be very observant of uh, your surrounding, especially kapag nasa public places kayo. At idagdag ko lang guys, related dito sa mga traffic light na to, um, dito sa Japan, kapag narito kayo, mapapansin nyo, even the smallest kid, even the youngest kid, yung mga batang nasa kindergarten pa lang, they can go to school and go back home safely. Kasi nga, yung mga vehicle owners, they always prioritize safety of pedestrians o yung mga taong hindi naman nakasasakyan or yung naglalakad lang. Masyado silang disiplinado dito sa Japan. On to the next one. Yan guys, business cards. Okay, isa sa mga bagay na malagang tandaan din is yung kapag ka nakatanggap ka or nakareceive ka ng business cards from someone or somebody that you met. Especially kapag ka uh, medyo professional yung tao na yun. Never ever put that particular business card right away in your packet or directly in your packet or somewhere um, that you wanted to put it in. Um, when you received a business card, kailangan mo ipakita na you are reading it you value that card because here in Japan, they think that business card is part of their personality or personal stuff na mahalaga. It's rude na pagkatanggap mo, ilagay mo lang siya, isuksok mo lang siya somewhere. Don't ever ever do it. Pagkatanggap mo na business card, read it, and then make sure na you are going to keep it somewhere really uh, safe. Or maybe you can take your wallet or your bag and then you put it somewhere really nicely. Okay? Don't ever put it directly in your pockets. Let's go to the next one. Okay, chopsticks. That's also very important. In Japan, they value the manners when you are eating using chopsticks. Never ever play with it. Never ever put your chopsticks in your food. This gesture or this act of putting the chopstick in your food is only done during the death rituals or death ceremonies. So be very mindful about it, okay? Another thing, when you're passing the food from chopsticks to chopsticks, don't ever do it uh, because it's also done during the rituals uh, or someone who died and then um, eventually um, it has been cremated and the bones you have to pass um, from family members to another family members using chopsticks. So don't ever pass food using chopsticks to another chopsticks. Okay, on to the next one. All right, next is lines or cues. 
here in Japan, mapapansin niyo talaga kapag every time pumunta kayo somewhere sa malls, shopping shopping malls, or even sa somewhere na that will require you to buy or to purchase something. Okay? Um, very common na rin ang convenience store. Diba? So here it is a proper etiquette or a proper manner that you fall in line. Just be mindful. If someone is around the counter or the cashier or the register, na tinatawag nila is Reji in Japanese, um, be careful. You have to fall in line or you have to be uh, observant. Or you just you just have to be aware. Even in escalators or elevators, wag na wag kayo makikipagunahan. Wag na wag kayo makikipagsiksikan. Dito is very, very rude. Okay? Remember, tandaan. Okay, next. Don't be loud in public. Oh! Oh, oh, or even at home. Kahit nasa bahay ka na, wag na wag kang magagawa ng anumang klaseng malalakas na ingay. Japanese people value their peacefulness and consideration with people around. Even when you're at home or in your apartment. Kapag nasa public or kapag nasa lugar na maraming tao na mapapansin nyo, tahimik lang sila, Wag na wag kayo makikipag-usap ng malalakas ang boses. Don't ever ever talk loudly with someone or somebody with you. Don't shout and don't laugh really loud when you're in public, especially in public transport as well. Japanese people always want to be quiet or they always want quiet and calm places. Kaya kailangan natin i-adapt yun. Don't blow your nose in public places as well. It's better that you go to the toilet or you better go to somewhere that no one or nobody will be distracted or will feel inconvenient around you when you are blowing or sneezing. Okay? Kung talagang hindi mapigilan you're sneezing, I always see this in my workplaces. They use their arm like this and then they sneeze. This is their way of respecting and being polite to other people around them. Just remember, keep it really low. On to the next one. Don't give tips. Tayo mga Pilipino, we are fond of giving tips. Pag nasayahan tayo or masyado tayong nasatisfy sa uh, binigay na servisyo, especially sa mga restaurants or somewhere na nagre-require ng service. Don't ever do that here in Japan. It's a big no. You probably would like to appreciate or give thanks because of the service or services that they've given to you. Here in Japan, it's a rude appreciation. Exactly opposite, right? If you do that, it would mean that you are not satisfied and you would want to advise that staff to be better next time. It would mean that you're not satisfied with their services to you. If you really want to appreciate or if you really want to value the services they've rendered to you, a simple arigato gozaimasu or domo arigato gozaimasu or hontoni arigato gozaimasu will be perfectly fine. So those changes, keep those in your packets. And one more thing guys, dagdag ko lang. When you buy or when you pay something and then you receive the change, don't ever count it in front of the uh, cashier. Because here in Japan, most of the restaurants, most of the shopping malls or department stores or shops, they use machines and then um, automatically they will give you exact change. So it's a rude thing that you will count the change in front of them. It means that you do not trust them, okay? I assure you. It's 99% accurate. It's 99% sure that you will receive exact change. So where's the 1%? It probably would be a machine error or little chance of human error. But never ever dishonesty because they value honesty here in Japan. Trust me. And last but not the least, down to the last one, don't forget to bow. <laughs> Bow is part of your life when you go here in Japan. When you say thank you, bow. When you say or when you appreciate something, bow. When you greet someone or somebody, when you meet someone anywhere or somewhere, bow. Or when you just respond to something or someone, bow. Don't ever forget to bow. Alright guys, that's about it with this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks so much for watching this video. I do hope you learned something new today and you learned something new about Japan. So these are all 
my personal experiences as well as uh, curiosity which brought me to discuss this stuff in my channel if you guys have any other questions or any uh, suggestions or comments please don't forget to put down or write down in the comment section and I will try my best to read them and respond to them. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share with your friends to inform others in case they would want to know something about the things that you should not do here in Japan. So I'll see you again next time guys. Remember, love your life, live your purpose. Ja, mata ne!